Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. I am a full-time reseller and today I am out on the usual garage sale hunt. So let's go see what we can find today. I thought I was filming and I was not. Well, that's for sale. Oh, my stomach's growling. I'm hungry. in here. Pottery barn, white. Okay, so the man is blasting a stereo that he's testing at this estate sale. So I'm just going to do a quick voiceover here for this section. It's like a Lennox kind of trivet, expandable. Uh, all that stuff over there that was in the boxes, it was all pretty expensive. Uh, everything at this estate sale was pretty expensive. Um, this was in the Milford, New Jersey area. I decided to grab a couple things that weren't marked, hoping, you know, that I could get a deal on them. Sometimes soap does well. I've had a lot of luck selling soap, so I grabbed that. Uh, this poetry stand, um, I've sold one of those before. I can't remember for how much, but I figured I'd gra grab that, kind of do a bundle thing. This, this guy was weird. He was like an elephant made out of a gourd. And there are the guys that are testing that stereo. This lady had um, a full liquor cabinet here. And uh, a lot of nice, a lot of nice stuff. But like I said, it was really, it was really marked up. Like $159 for that. Like just crazy. She had a lot of you know, nice Christmas decorations and, and stuff like that, but it was just, I don't know, it was a lot. Oh, my camera skills are so, so bad today. So this, um, I decided to give that a shot. I've sold that lamp time and time again, every holiday. So it wasn't marked. I figure I can put that in a little pile with the rest of my stuff and hopefully get a good price. So again, more Christmas, lots of decorations. These are kind of interesting, but they were unmarked, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what they were. There's a buyer's choice here not priced, but I figured he was probably going to be quite a bit considering all of the way, you know, the way everything else was priced.
I was I was looking at the one. She's kind of interesting. Because I got one over here that's supposed to be worth something. Oh, oh, okay. How much are the candlestick holders? The Winnie the Pooh. These two. A dollar a piece. All right, I'll take them. I'll take them. Now some of these things are broken uh -huh. because people, I don't understand. Oh, you're right. You could tell that yep. it's glass, but yet they're trying to bend stuff. So oh. I made them pay for them and then they got mad and then they still didn't take it after they paid for it. Oh, wow. Yeah, people are crazy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like she's missing the Yep, I see that. Yeah. It looks like she is too. Yeah. Yeah. She's missing part of the wing. There you go. She's pretty. How much is she? Okay, I'll take her too. If you want me to set that stuff over here. Yep, okay. I'll put them right here. Oops. I, I don't might know if you know about one. I might get a couple other things from over here and just put it put it right there. What is this? Is there supposed to be something sitting on here? Is something supposed to sit on the yes. top of that? There was a uh the, the sea girl from one of these things oh. and someone stole it. Oh, are you serious? You can't imagine how much stuff people have stole. You have no idea. A dollar. Oh. A dollar. A right, dollar. yeah. And it's been that's, that's terrible. I had no um. man, no lady. She sets a pocketbook down on the floor. They're still in all the 45s at her dollar piece. She could barely pick up the pocketbook and I said, hey, 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 hey. And she's like, what? I said, can you open your bag? She opens the bag like, no problem. I'm like, you just stole like 50, 45s over here. She says, oh no, I carry those with me all the time. <laughs> yeah, right. Who does that? Yeah. That's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Come will get them, don't you worry. Very cool. Good. That's cute. There's a bunch of really nice picture frames over by this lady in the you know, I'll be on the back. Real nice picture frames. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, that's such a shame. I wish those weren't broken. Here's another. Oops. 50 cents a piece for the broken ones. Okay. What were you asking for your fucking trophies? Oh, he's broken. Uh, two bucks a piece. Look at this right here. This is like a big set. I want to hold a book for it. If you go on the internet, it's like $2,000. It's the real deal. Some of it doesn't have this good. There's some mixed up, yeah. but yeah, but it's like the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's you can like check this a lot you know, so like yeah. Yeah.
Is her Those are my magnets. So I had to stop filming at that last house because I filled up. I got a ton of stuff, ton of stuff, and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm hoping it all survives the trip home because, like, I had nothing to wrap it in except for, like, the man was giving me towels and t-shirts. <laughs> so, I don't know, but I can't wait to show you guys this haul. I was pretty excited to get all the stuff I did from that last stop, but um, like I said, I had to stop filming. Um, there was just no way I could film and carry and, and everything else. So, I'm still driving around New Jersey. There's another sale, I think, on this road that I'm on in about a half mile. So, I'm going to kind of try to make my way home and just make some stops on the way because I mean it's almost it's actually 140 it's going on two o'clock now so I think people will probably be winding down some of them but it's definitely been a really fun day um, it's been a long day <laughs> but it's been fun so uh, let's just uh, let's see what else we can find here all right this says in the rear no parking in the driveway let's see where this is Ooh. That, that scared me. <laughs> that thing scared me. It really did. Let's see where this sale is. It's like a bunch of apartments, I think. I don't know. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Hi. Vintage wood. Cool one. It's one of those heat things. I think those sell all right. Wow, check these out. Oh, they're all like, they're all peeling.
pieces are in here? Yeah, the Harley. All right, guys, so now for the haul. <laughs> Such a crazy assortment of stuff, um, but it was definitely an awesome, awesome day. Uh, yes, I'm wearing a sweatshirt inside, I'm cold. Uh, anyway, let's get into this haul. I actually have a bunch of like dolls, like figurines and whatnot that are over on a table and I'm gonna show you those after I do this stuff because I just wanted to keep them from getting broken so I just kind of line them all up there and I will show you that amazing haul after I do the rest of the stuff so anyway let's just jump into it so I started in Pennsylvania uh, this was actually yesterday I'm filming the haul today but it was yesterday I started in Pennsylvania I wasn't really doing that well I, I wasn't finding I wasn't finding a whole lot. Um, it was kind of disappointing. So I decided to venture over to New Jersey and I am so glad I did. So let's go here. All right, uh, I guess in no particular order, these I actually did get in PA. Check them out, check them out. Little baby Air Max. I love baby Nikes. Like I just love picking these up. <laughs> I don't know. They're just so freaking cute. There's nothing cuter than a pair of like baby toddler Nikes. It's all there is to it, okay? All right, so then I got this Focus Pro 6000, this um, thermostat, and I think it's new. The batteries have never even been opened. Oh yeah, it's never been installed or anything. The hardware is still, <laughs> hardware is not much to it, but um, yeah, so this does appear to be new in open box. I think this will bring maybe like 40 to $50. And I think I paid three for it. So that should be okay. I got this weather thermometer. This might not sell for very much at all. I do have to look this one up. Um, it's probably not going to be a whole lot, but I paid $3 for it. And then I got this taco tablecloth. Uh, Isaac Mizrahi. It's, what is it? It's oblong, 52 by 70. Someone will love that, I'm sure. I got a little Vera Bradley turn lock wallet for a dollar. Not a bad price. I'm trying to open it. I'm trying to look in the camera and open it. And I don't know. That was weird. Okay. Uh, I'll save that for a minute. I don't know. I guess no particular order, right? So I got these Minnetonka sandals. They look to be very, very gently used. $2.00. So much random, random stuff here. Okay, so then I in that at that estate sale, I did end up getting these soaps. I do have to look them up. I mean, soap might sound crazy, but I sold a couple bars of soap. It was like some specialty soap for I think like $65 over the summer. Actually, I've sold several different soaps for a very, very good amount. Uh, so I'm hoping that these are good too. Like I said, I do have to, I do have to look them up. They look like they're Italian. So we'll see. I got this magnetic poetry stand. I don't know how this is going to do. I sold one a while ago, like a long while ago. I'm not sure if it's something that's still going to be, I don't know. It might be like a Christmas gift kind of item. I did get the lamp I have to make sure I didn't even look to see if it's like all in here or oh yeah I mean it looks like it is it might even 
I don't know if it's new or not, but there's the leg. This isn't the largest size, but it's not the smallest size either. And it's not the night light. So it's kind of like a mid size one. And like I said, I've sold this before um, for a fairly decent amount. I pay, I only paid $20 for everything at the, at that, at that estate sale, which was good. Nothing had prices on it. And I mean, it wasn't too bad of a deal for the lamp and the soap and the poetry thing. And what else? This. This was in that stack. I feel like I got something else there too, but I, I don't I don't know. My stuff is like all like together. Anyway, this is a German smoker and I was excited about him. I love finding these. I love selling these. And he's like a golfer and he was all in one piece until I got to him. But no, I, I was carrying I was carrying the stack like this. Like I had the 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 lamp on the bottom and then the, you know, it was layered or whatever. This guy I had laying flat. And of course, I'm trying to juggle everything as I walk out of there. My friend Michelle was standing behind me waiting to pay and she she saw it all go down. She saw this guy lose his arm <laughs> and elbow and everything else. I mean, look, it's in, it's in like two pieces. His arm, his right arm, his right arm just broke right off and broke into two pieces. So I'm gonna see if I can crazy glue him. I will have to disclose it in the listing, which stinks because he was perfect, but that's where like the little incense thing would go. The smoke would come out his mouth. He's marked made in Germany on the bottom, but really cool guy until, like I said, until the unfortunate accident. But you know, it happens sometimes. I had the mask on and when I wear the mask, my glasses steam up so bad. So I always have my glasses on my head. So I'm like trying to juggle this pile. I just paid the lady. I'm trying to juggle the pile. I have the glasses on the top of my head. I bend over to pick up the pile. My glasses go flying onto the floor. Next, he goes onto the floor. <laughs> like it was just, oh, it was a mess. Anyway, I'll get a few bucks for him anyway, hopefully after he's repaired. So moving on, I really think I got something else there though, but I, I don't know. Moving on, I did go to another, actually I went to a, several, several sales that I did not film at. And the one, oh, guys, this set is amazing. I cannot wait to show you this. You're going to have to give me a minute to assemble it. I love, love, love this next piece. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. So let me get it together here. This is so cool. And I paid up. I paid up for this, but I couldn't pass it by. Now these sets, I'm telling you, if this was like four or five years ago, this set would have even gone like even way higher. They used to sell for more. This one is on the rarer side because of the, well, you'll see because of the way it is, but it is, it's just amazing. All right. So it's a little dirty. The big, the, Big bowls like really dirty, but let me tell you something. This thing is like otherwise beautiful. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, look at this set. I mean, this is like not even doing it justice. Like if you could see it in person, look at this. It is amazing. So it's 10 of the Dorothy Thorpe roly poly glasses. I would say these are probably, these are the smaller ones. I would say they're probably like five ounce. And then the punch bowl, but what makes it so special is this carrier rack stand, whatever you want to call it. That is what makes it amazing. So these sets used to sell, I mean, I've been selling these for years. They became super popular when Mad Men first came out. And uh, I've been selling these in five ounce size, eight ounce size. I've shipped them to France. I mean, like I've just sold these so many times. I actually have... I actually have a set of the glasses in my garage. I think they might be eight ounces. And actually I might have two sets and I think I have a punch bowl out there too. 
Um, I need to get it together and list those, but they don't sell for what they used to. They just don't, but they'll still bring a decent amount of money. Now, like a punch bowl and glass combo set, you might get like a hundred dollars for, but with this, this right here, I'm going to, this bad boy is going up for like $225. I paid 50 for it. Like I said, I paid up. This guy had a, this guy runs an estate sale business, but he also has an antique shop. And he said he would easily, you know, put $150 on it in his shop. If he didn't sell it, he was going to take it to his shop and sell it there. So I went back and forth for like, you know, maybe four or five minutes. And I just could not walk away without this thing. Like, I love it. So it's mine. It's mine now. But like I said, this one's getting listed. Uh, the, there was one other that sold over the summer and it was listed for $269 and they did take a best offer. So I'm not really sure what that best offer was, but I doubt it was too much less than what they were, you know, asking for it. So like I said, this is definitely getting listed for at least $225. Such an awesome set. So I am not going to put this way, way out of the way so I don't break it. All right, so we're going to put that over there. So yeah, that that is the first thing I'm super excited about in this haul. And then the rest you'll see in a little bit. So, all right, in the meantime, uh, let's see. I might even be missing something. I have a couple pieces that I don't know where they are. So then I went to uh, one last estate sale at the very, very end of the day. I think it was like, oh geez, it was probably close to three o'clock at, at that point. And I, I didn't see a whole lot, but I saw this dress in the upstairs bedroom. It's a uh, Morton Miles for Smith and Jones, and it's got it's got some staining. It's definitely showing its age and everything. The one belt loop is broken. That should be a simple fix. Oh, but check this out. And it's got an odor. It's got an old odor to it. Again, it doesn't look like much on camera, but it's got this beautiful. It does have a stain somewhere too. But it's got this beautiful embroidery. I mean, this is just like magnificent. Look at that. And the whole, you know, like the sleeves, the bodice, I believe you could call that. That is all embroidered. It is just, it's gorgeous. I'm going to have to look and see. Oh, here, here's a tag. It doesn't say materials or anything. It feels like a linen sort of. Uh, but there's no size. I mean, I'm gonna have to take measurements. That's kind of typical with some vintage clothing. So anyway, they had this marked for $10 and I just loved it. So I think that I will definitely, uh, I looked this brand up and it's kind of all over the place, but they don't look like this one. So, uh, I don't know. I think I'll definitely be listing this for probably about $70 at least uh you know it does have like i said a flaw but Ooh, this is my punch bowl ladle okay so at that same place so now they wanted 10 for that and then i just kind of had like a bundle of some other items and one of them was oh they ended up charging me 15 for everything so this was also in that bundle this philosophy apple cider uh shampoo shower gel <laughs> bubble bath you can use it for whatever you want i don't know i'm a little skeptical when a bottle tells me <laughs> that i can use this on my hair and as like bubble bath i don't know it just doesn't sound right but i bet it smells nice because philosophy stuff usually does and i did take the lid off it is completely new and sealed so i could sell it i could keep it I'm leaning towards selling it. It only sells for like $10 plus shipping. But I mean, that's not a bad deal. 
like I said, I paid 15 for everything with the dress and, and then this, I picked, this was sitting in the, uh, like the flatware rack tray, whatever you want to call it in the kitchen. Just looks like an old pair of scissors kind of, but it's like ice cube tongs. I thought they were so cool looking and then I looked at them and they're marked uh, Webb Sterling. So I was like, oh, wow. So they definitely went in the pile. I definitely don't think that the company saw any markings on these and they probably weren't looking for markings. They look kind of like, you know, it almost looks like a, like a um, silver plate. That's what I was trying to say. But no, they, this is in fact stainless, or sterling. So anyhow, the handle, not the bottom, but the handles. So this, the most recent one sold for $48. And then there's one listed for $95. So I'll probably price somewhere in the middle about maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but it was a good deal. So also in that... Also in that little $15 lot, I got some fabric. This isn't a whole lot, but it's like totally vintage. It's enough for someone to probably do like a reupholster, you know, maybe some stools or something like that. And uh, it's a thick, it's a very thick fabric. And then I got this one. This also just looks very vintage. There's definitely more of this. Uh, see if it has, I don't even know if it has a brand. Screen printed. Uh, I don't know. Pre-shrunk. Pre I'll look at it later, but I just thought it was a real cool vintage kind of, kind of print. Really nice colors. And then two cross stitch kits. These I don't think are gonna like do, you know, crazy. Maybe like 10 bucks a piece or whatever, but not bad. Not bad if you ask me. Oh, here we go. I knew I bought something else at that other, at that first estate sale. These I got, <laughs> these are hot and cold. They're shower curtain hooks but they're like hot and cold knobs that would be like on an old sink. I just thought they were cool. And I think someone else is going to think that they're cool too. All right. Then I picked up some hideous clothing because you guys know I love this weird stuff. And I mean, I don't know. I think somebody's going to buy these. These are like pajama pants size XL. Cats and tacos with this um, like space print. Cosmic. Cosmic cats and tacos. I don't know. I couldn't leave it behind. It just seemed like I had to pick it up. And then here's like the the hoodie that I guess you could wear as a pajama top. I don't know. But I think that's XL2. 2XL. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, this print was kind of like in a couple years ago. I mean, it was never really in, in, but it was like circulating the market. <laughs> and I'm bringing it back. I hope, I hope I'm gonna sell that. Someone's gonna buy it. Someone's gonna buy it. I know they are. All right, moving on, moving on. Oh, also I did buy this at that same place. Sometimes I meet people and feel bad for their dog. And to be honest with you, I have had that feeling several times. I love dogs. I'm a huge dog person. So sometimes I do see someone with a dog and I'm like, oh my God, I feel so bad for that dog. So I don't know if I'm going to wear this, but it could be a sleep shirt or something. Okay. So then I did, I did, I got these in PA before I crossed the border. I got some uh, Victoria's Secret pink leggings. I think I got, oh, those are Athleta. I got Athleta and Victoria's Secret pink. So one, two, three these are athletic camo those are pretty nice they're uh they're small so i got five pair five pair and they're in like really really good condition like gently gently used 
So I did get those. All right, so then let's see here. Let's see here. All right, that one sale. Oh, here we go. Okay, so that one sale, I did pick this up. I'm not sure if it's all here. All here, I did get it for three. They wanted five, I got it for three. Um, probably not. I don't know. This is this is probably going to sit for a while before I list it because I'm not sure if all the parts are here and it doesn't really seem to sell as well as I thought it would. So we'll see about that. Um, this I got. This is a, let me tell you. Let me show you what not to buy. Baby. Big bulky baby crap. This was this was a bad buy. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I did not look it up. I thought it might be a good deal. The lady said it was only used like twice. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't have like spit up in it or anything i didn't even take it out to look but uh it's a baby delight snuggle snuggle nest surround xl i paid 10 for it and i like i'm probably gonna be able to sell this for maybe 20 25 if i'm lucky so i don't think it's gonna go for a whole lot um so i probably i i expected that it would be more but and i usually i don't know i think it's because i really wasn't finding anything and i just I got a little out of control for a minute and, and I bought this ginormous baby thing. So yeah, don't buy these guys. All right, anyhow, then let's see here. Oh, okay, I got this. This is um, a trivia game marked five. Actually, I think I might've paid four for this though. I don't know, it looks like a saddle bag. I just think it's kind of cool and it looks like this sells for like maybe between 20 and $30 plus shipping. So that's pretty cool. I picked up a couple of, um, at the same place I got like this Muscle Machines car and this Muscle Machines motorcycle. I don't know, these are probably not gonna bring any kind of crazy amount, but it'll all add up and these are super easy to list and everything. Uh, what else did I get there? Oh, I don't know. I'm looking all over. I'm like not super organized. I never am. I did get, I did get these. These are nesting Tupperware containers. There's three of them, I believe. Ooh, and they are, they're like really good condition. They're gold and they have like this holiday print. And I've sold Tupperware before, so I'm sure those will go. I only paid a dollar for the whole stack. I'm sure they'll be pretty decent. And then I got this Mexican Mexican pottery pitcher. I just thought it was kind of cool. It is signed on the bottom. At that same place, I purchased this uh, tavern puzzle lion's loops tucker jones i sold one of these maybe about two months ago and it sold for a decent amount of money so i decided to give it a go and pick this one up i have no idea how it's supposed to work but there are directions in the bag so i ended up paying two for this they had it marked three Let's see if i can get it back in here the bag is kind of in rough shape and so are the directions, but I don't think that's going to matter. Okay, so then the the man with like all of the stuff, I did get some Mary Englebright plates. I think I have four of these. I might have three, but I might have four. And then I did get some random... Mary Englebright pieces, uh, this mug, a couple of ooh, sun catchers. I know some people really like this stuff. I'm not sure how much these are going to go for, but I really didn't pay that much for them. I spent a total of $130 at that guy's house. So all of this stuff I'm showing you now is included. This is another Mary Englebright. It's like a framed kind of like picture plaque. It's not framed. It's like a photo stand though. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> this is a frame. This is a Disney frame. And this is another Mary Englebright. I think you can switch that out. That looks like one of her prints, but you could switch that out. It's got some 
saying about friends or something on it. I did get a couple small magnets. I don't know where they are. They might be over there. Uh, then I got this plate. It's like a collector kind of plate. And then this random one. It doesn't match the others, but I got it anyway. Okay. Then these are uh, stem flitties by Sheila Wolk, I believe. And they're kind of like flowers on branches with a little fairy. I bought six of these. I think they're all different. I still have to look at the bottom three, but the top three are all different. I'm probably going to sell these all together as one big lot. So yeah, I got those six of those. And then, and now I am going to take you over to the table and I'm going to take you over to the table and show you all of the other fantastic things that I'm so excited about. So let's go. Okay, so all of this also came from that house and included in that $130 price. So a couple more, these are the magnets, a couple more Mary Engelbray. I'll just lot those together. Mary Engelbray items, this kind of, I don't know, hangy thingy. This actually wasn't mine. I'm not sure how it ended up in my box, but it's like a tigger you could like hang on your window. So anyway, let's talk about this stuff. So here is a Disney princess frame. She needs to be just dusted up a little bit. This, these need to really be cleaned up too, but otherwise I did not see any chips or cracks or anything in these. And I tried to look everything over because a lot of the stuff was broken. So these were a dollar a piece. They are Lennox, they're candlestick holders, and I think they're really cool. Um, also, this is my beautiful Italian gaming table. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw me pick this up a few weeks ago. Um, it is listed on eBay. I think I actually need to relist it. I had it in an auction form. I think it ended. I have to double check that. But anyway, it's gorgeous. There's like a roulette table under here and everything else. But anyhow, let's get back to business. So these right here are Thomas Blackshear ornaments. He had about 12 of them. These were the only three that were not broken. Unfortunately, you know, they don't come with their boxes or, or anything like that or the um, COAs or anything. But I think they'll still sell for a decent amount. He had a ton, ton of Thomas Blackshear, but that stuff he actually had priced pretty darn high. So I did not get any of that except for these three right here. Uh, all right, then I got these. These are actually both identical, I believe, and none of them are broken. These are Homegrown by Inesco, and these are the Strawberry... The strawberry pears or something. I forget what, what these particular ones are called. But they sell for about 50 to 60 each plus shipping. So that is phenomenal. Phenomenal. If you guys have been watching me, you know I picked up the homegrown timers. Um homegrown timers. I felt like I felt like that didn't come out right. Uh, I picked those up at a rummage sale maybe about a year ago and um yeah, so these are my first figurines I found from, from that. All right, so then we have another Tinkerbell frame. And then back here, another Tinkerbell frame. And then we have Glinda, Wizard of Oz. She looks like she sells for about 55 60 you know, without the box or paperwork or anything. And you know what? I just noticed the only flaw looks like this little wing right here is chipped, which is a bummer because she's beautiful otherwise. So, I, I mean, you know what? Maybe even $40. 
I don't know. Um, okay, so then I got such a mix here. In the back, we have these five Lena Lou Danbury Mint princesses. They're different ones. They're all different. And these look like they range just kind of ballpark, like $60 to $80 a piece. And I will check them all over again, but I did not see any flaws on them when I picked them up. Here we have, these are a lot of these um, Nini Thomas fairies. They had a lot of other fairies that were broken. Um, some of those I've sold before with that brand, but I mean, I think I might even have one that hasn't sold. Some of them are slow sellers, but anyway, I didn't grab any of those. Most of those were broken. I did get this one. This is Jessica something or other. Enchanted Art of Jessica someone. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that one up, but that looks really cool. Look at her. And then we have Cinderella. We have Belle. This, I believe, is Belle also. I need to make sure I'm putting the camera in the right direction. Yes, that's Belle. These two, look at this. This is just gorgeous. I'm not sure who made these other than Disney. But they are, they're gorgeous. This one looks, ooh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Yeah, they're just Mark Disney. They're beautiful. Okay, and then the rest, we have a lot of, again, the... Are these the Nini Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Celebration of the Seasonal Fairy Queens collection? I don't know. I do have to look those up. They have, like, these... Um, Kind of like fabric and wire wings. So I did get several of those. So I have one, two, three, four, five. She might be different. Oh, she's the Nini Thomas. And so is she, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Some of these I have to look up. I'm I didn't look all of them up. Uh, but yeah, I think that is a pretty awesome haul, right? Like, just look at that. It's kind of awesome. Alrighty, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this haul video and the rest of the video. Um, definitely an exciting one. I really love the stuff I found for the most part, except for that baby thing. <laughs> I don't know, a couple random things that I'm not too thrilled about. But anyhow, uh, I have this camera angle going to the side. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now. Anyhow, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. Until next time, bye.